it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're out here really contemplating and focusing in on what really occurs during the devaluation cycle of a narcissistic or psychopathic relationship. This is perhaps one of the most confusing, the most insidious and the most challenging aspects of a narcissist or psychopathic relationship. And that is the experience of going through devaluation. Devaluation doesn't make any sense. It's coming from an illogical space within a character disordered individual, such as a narcissist or a psychopath. Now, because of their heightened sense of self-importance, their need for superiority, their insatiable need to have power over others, they will tend to have a pathological envy um, over others who they appear or they perceive as threats. And anyone really can appear as a threat to a narcissist or a psychopathic individual, particularly someone who is genuine, particularly someone who is authentic, someone who is uh, sensitive, someone who has a sense of uh, accountability or really what, what, what I call basically true human needs. Now, um, and human needs are the need for attention, the need for... Wow, there's like some melting ice going on right behind me. And it just like broke free. Um, I don't know if I can, I can just heard, I just heard this big shift though in like this um, ice. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that or hear that. And there's also a, a liquor bottle. Uh, someone is also getting themselves uh, toasted uh, here earlier, I guess. Um, we're out here in nature. Um, and um, we are focusing in on, you know, really uh, the devaluing and how it comes from such an illogical space. Um, and, and so when, when this occurs, when someone is um, narcissistic, uh, someone is psychopathic, and all of a sudden takes like a detour um, in, in your life, uh, you know, the, the, it just out of nowhere, you have these uh, narcissistic or psychopathic rages, where all of a sudden, you know they're they're not playing the same tune. They're um, uh, you know all of a sudden the uh, they're they seem out of sync with you. Um, they seem like they're just on another course. They're on another vibration. They're on a whole nother uh, playing field than you. And uh, for no reason, no apparent reason, you see this exaggerated negativity, um, this ca catastrophizing sort of treatment um, and shaming, and really um, you know an issue where it becomes all of a sudden you feel defenseless, resourceless, you can't stand up for yourself. So you tend to adapt by becoming um, really uh, more people pleasing uh, to them in order to figure out what is wrong with you. You spend an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out what is wrong. What did I do to upset this individual? How can I modify? How can I change? How can I make myself more available to this person? so I can improve and work on our relationship and we can take it to the next level. That is falling in love with the illusion. That is trying to get back to the stage of love bombing once you are in the bargaining, the, uh, the de de devaluing stage. In other words, the narcissist, because they have this pathological need, this insatiable need to be in control, to be the one in power, to be the, the one in the relationship. So, you know, it does take two to tango. It takes two in a relationship. There's give and take. There's you and me, there's us, there's a we. For the narcissist um, and the psychopath, there, there really is no we. There is no us. It's, it's really about them. And then furthermore, <laughs> what can you do or be to enhance them? And if you can be or enhance them, even to the detriment or to the loss of your needs or to the dissatisfaction or unfulfillment of your needs or furthermore and more importantly so to the degradation annihilation or completely um, invalidating of your needs then you know you are in a true uh, like a martyrdom relationship with a narcissist or a, a psychopath and so if you're in that, that bargaining stage where you've begun the the devaluing perhaps um they're not uh, calling you back. They're not texting you back. Um, they're they're catastrophizing uh, the relationship. Um, they tend to c become very negative or very explosive. Um, or you know you you find out that um, you're not good enough for them in a specific way. Or you have sexual issues all of a sudden. 
and then um, you know they, they just tend to focus in a lot of the negative and then you feel this fear reaction this obligation and you tend to try to overwork um, in the relationship trying to send them more pictures more texts trying to up your you know up your in with this uh, in this relationship that you're now trying to work on and it becomes exhausting you become over obligated to this individual um, and you know you are really um, bonded to them in, in a sort of uh, traumatic way in a sort of very high pressure way versus feeling um, a true sense of balance and peace and understanding and real clarity um, it becomes a real sort of bargaining stage where you want to work hard to get them back so if you are in this stage you're in the devaluing you're feeling like there's something inherently wrong with you because of how this person is projecting their their narcissistic illusion or their psychopathic illusion onto you and you're trying to get back to that um, euphoric state where you know you guys are taking on the world you feel it's like you and them against the world realize that oftentimes it's you now going to be you and your you against yourself you're trying to rectify basically and settle the score for yourself so you can find out what your reality is and get some sort of uh, certainty back into your life because the narcissist and the psychopath as well and I'm not just um, I don't want to only um, lap these into uh, you know the same disorder because they're not they're very very different but in terms of um, the experience of being devalued I think it, it is uh, similar and um, I think the mechanisms are similar also in other words you're just being churned and burned um, in their life for a uh, relationship quote unquote because when you're when you're in a uh, a setting with them you're not really in a relationship you're more in um, what is a bond or more in a targeted position where it is in essence uh, a breaking uh, breaking down of you so that you can become basically led by them or controlled by them because of their insatiable need to be the one in control to have the power and they drew this through the dom domination and humiliation which then becomes known as the devaluing stage peace and harmony with you here today i hope these videos do help please share and please subscribe for more great tools videos discussion and support